Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this series where I'm breaking down the Jack Cruz, Andrew Huberman, Rick Rubin podcast. And so today I'm going to be talking about the KT event and um, its relevance to biology and how the KT event actually sculpted humans and how melanin and palm C and both external and internal light were critical to this. Okay, so a quick lesson in evolutionary biology. So the Earth is about 4.6 billion years old. Life showed up about 3.8 billion years ago. And then the Cambrian explosion occurred about 565 million years ago, approximately. So basically what happened is that archaea and bacteria showed up about 3.8 billion years ago. But it took you know over 3 billion years for life to really do much of anything. So basically archaea and bacteria... Um, you know, we're existing these very simple single celled organisms. And really, you know, the innovation of, you know, complex plant and animal life took 3 billion years um, to develop. And so that was the event that's called the Cambrian explosion. And basically what happened is so life did very little innovation basically for 3 billion years. And then in the span of just a few 10 million years, basically 32 phyla of life popped up very quickly. Um, whereas there have been very little, you know, advancement or increase of complexity of life as previously noted. And then one of the other major events is that the KT event occurred around 65 million years ago. And this is when the, you know, Dr. Jack Cruz, as he uh, called it, the age of mammals began. Okay, so what happened at the KT event? So the KT event was essentially the dinosaur extinction event. So what happened was an asteroid, and I believe the asteroid was about 50 miles wide, hit the Yucatan Peninsula threw up a chunk of Earth debris that was about 30 miles wide up into the Earth's atmosphere. Um, huge amount of debris and air pollution basically blocked the sun and photosynthesis um, from pole to pole, so the entire Earth. But we don't know for quite how long you know the sunlight and photosynthesis was blocked. But basically what Dr. Cruz talked about is that basically two animals survived that event. The theropod dinosaurs, which are modern day birds, and as he calls it, those furry little creatures, um, which are basically these little rodent mammals that live under the ground, um, which are basically the ancestors of all mammals. And so they um, lived under the ground uh, most of the year to avoid getting eaten by dinosaurs. And so we know that photosynthesis and sunlight was blocked for a certain period of time and little food was available. And so basically the um, main point of this whole thing is how did those animals survive when the sunlight um, was blocked and photosynthesis was blocked? And Dr. Jack Cruz's hypothesis is that he believes that these mammals pulled their melanin inside. Um, and so basically, melanin and melanocytes, the cells that make melanin, they are derivatives embryologically. Embryologically just means um, from the development from the uh, zygote and the embry embryo all the way up to the adult. So it's basically the process of uh, development. So embryologically, we are plastic, we are neuroplastic in our neuroectoderm, and neuroectoderm is just a certain layer of the early embryo. And so basically neuroplastic means we are still moldable, it's not set in stone, it's still malleable. And so basically, Dr. Cruz, um, and we, we are, we are neuroplastic in our neuroectoderm, and since melanocytes um, and melanin is a neuroectodermal derivative, um, embryologically speaking, developmentally speaking, um, he believes that we pulled our melanin and our melanocytes inside and actually created massive amounts of UV light internally and used the melanin to actually capture that light and then use the energy from the creation of the light hitting melanin to actually charge separate the water to create energy and aid metabolism as I've talked about in the previous videos um, how melanin uh, performs this process. If you haven't uh, seen those videos yet explaining that, please uh, take a look at that as that explains it. Um, and this helped give the creatures enough energy uh, and metabolism to be able to get through this planet-wide catastrophe until photosynthesis was restored. So this is the hypothesis and the main point that Dr. Jack Cruz is getting at when he talks about the KT event in this uh, podcast where he's talking about he believes that we basically innovated metastasis. We basically innovated the movement of these cells um, to be able to create energy inside us to actually help us get through this period where there's very little energy available in the environment, very little food available in the environment due to this major uh, planet-wide catastrophe. So what we did was we pulled the melanin and the melanocytes inside, started creating um, you know, melanin internally, 
and then we were creating light internally via mitochondrial metabolism and when we were able to link the light that we were creating through mitochondrial metabolism um you know that's hitting the melanin that's now inside us that's charge separating the water which creates these you know molecular oxygen molecular hydrogen and free electrons which is able to aid in metabolism because again all we need to run the electron transport chain is oxygen, hydrogen, and, meta and uh, electrons, excuse me. And then additionally, the electron, you basically, when you charge separate water, um, as Dr. Gerald Pollack has talked about, you basically create a battery, um, a, you know, a capacitor. Water is an electromagnetic capacitor when it's charge separated. And that helps to aid in metabolism, um, basically create a battery that we can do work from, do uh, cellular work from as well. And so this basically helped aid in metabolism and um, aid in energy creation when there was very little energy in the environment. And so that's how basically the internalization of these melanocytes and melanin is such a crucial, crucial piece to the evolution and to the survival of uh, mammals during this time period. And then what actually happened is because we were able to pull our melanocytes and melanin internally during this time period, um, we were actually we were able to create more energy when the sun did actually come out and we were able to you know go outside um, from the ground because the dinosaurs were all dead now so these animals were able to go outside you know from under the ground just able to go you know above ground into the sunlight you know once the uh, photosynthesis and sunlight was restored and the debris left the biosphere and then basically what happened was we were able to uh, get massive amounts of you know sunlight Whereas previously we had not been getting much external sunlight because we mainly had to stay um, below ground to avoid the dinosaurs. But then additionally, now we have this melanin and these melanocytes inside. So we were actually able to create even more energy than we had previously. And the whole hypothesis then is that Dr. Jack Cruz believes that this is actually what allowed humans to become so complex and be able to build these really big brains and to be able to actually have the energy uh, in the system in the body to be able to create this big, these bigger brains and be able to actually support these big, uh, bigger brains. And it's because we pulled the melanocytes inside during this time as an adaptation to the lack of energy in the environment. And then when we kept these melanocytes and melanin inside, we were able to create way more energy than previously. And this is actually what was allowed us to have the bigger uh, brains and be able to support, you know, these as Dr. Jack Cruz, these Ferrari engines in our head, these bigger brains, um, it was the fact that we were creating more energy now from the uh, melanocytes and melanin that we pulled interiorly to aid in metabolism, be able to create more energy. And then additionally, the dinosaurs died, so we were able to go uh, above ground outside and actually absorb even more sunlight um, from the sun instead of having to be below ground. So this innovation of pulling melanocytes inside and then the dinosaurs dying at the same time during this KT event is what allowed mammals to basically evolve, become the dominant species, and basically what allowed us humans to eventually grow our much bigger brains than had ever been previously seen in the history of our planet. And so basically it's what allowed humans to um, become the modern humans that we are today. And Dr. Jack Cruz, the hypothesis is that it all come, came back to this KT event and pulling the mel melanin and melanocytes internally, being able to harness the internal light creation um, going on from mitochondrial metabolism and then also the dinosaurs dying and then the, these mammals being able to go above ground and actually get even more sunlight and all of this allowed much more um, energy creation and energy metabolism um, within these uh, organisms which allowed them to grow even bigger and more complex brains which eventually allowed us to create the modern humans with our big complex brains uh, that we have today. Okay, and then lastly, I just want to say thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribing as it really helps support the channel. And then I just want to say that this video is purely for educational purposes. This is not medical advice, and all opinions discussed in the video are solely my own. Thank you.